plus V2 
linear is x maybe minus 1 or 2 or 3 or whatsoever because it's too big, this one must be the graphic right? this one is linear can you see? linear is degree 1 this one will be degree 2 that means is quadratic then after that you factorize this one that will be factorized into 3 factors I'm talking go for if it's degree 3 I will have 3 rules if I degree 4 I will have 4 rules if you go higher level in degree 10 I will have 10 rules understand? now what does it mean? all of you understand? when they say factorize you just need to put it into factors only understand? when they say solve this equals to zero it's an equation right? that means after you put into the three bracket equal to zero then you solve understand? for example, let's say I factorize already, I get this what's my x? one negative 2 and then 3 that will be my answer ok, now, what if you have a quadratic here that cannot be solved by factorization then this one you have to use formula do you understand? Oh, so I just give the general rule first ok, now then the difficult part is this how are we going to find a factor right? that's why today I am teaching you how to play cheats Okay, I will teach you how to get this money. Okay, now let's take a look here. Alright, I'm going to go through the example and then I'm going to tell you how to do the calculator. But it must still show working though. No? Don't say I simply use calculator, don't do it. Alright? Okay, now let's take a look at the first example. How do I take a look? Now, turn to page 81. I want to look at example 15. All of you. Uh, are you counting your hair whether it's cubic or chromatic? Yeah. It's quite close. Yeah. Most of it is a sine curve. Oh. When you do sine curve, I'll talk about your hair. Sine curve go like this. So it's not to be a sine curve. Okay? So sine curve is also like this, but it's one like that. Yeah, there's something else here. Okay, it cannot be a tangent curve because tangent curve go like that. This is an asymptote. Please remember Ryan when the cycle comes. Mm. Do you understand? Okay, good. Now, let me show you how to do this. How to play cheap nicely, okay? Nicely. Okay. We are Jiang Hua. I'm going to write it quick, the question. Huh? Factorize. I want to know what is this word? Factorize. The last thing goes down. You know how to use calculator to solve cubic equation, right? Change the road. All the wheels of our cut one another. Find the solution for me first. Find the solution for me. You tell me what are the solutions? Okay, what answer is what? You must know how to do it, yeah? it's not that yeah? Negative 3, 2 and negative half, right? These are the solutions, right? Alright, now plus, I teach you, uh, do not choose the fraction one. If you got the positive one, I choose the positive one. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes or no? Because sure factor one, uh, the way what I'm saying, Okay, all of you guys, all of you present, you must cannot say, oh, I'm very smart, just, 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 try x minus 2. Correct, right, uh? if I try x minus 2 means what? I plug in 2, right? Correct, right, uh? but before I can do that, right? Before I can even do that, right? I must let what? Fx be this guy first. Understand? Okay, all look up, all look up. Don't copy. Don't copy. Try x minus 
2. That means I want to find remainder F2, right? If F2 is 0, this guy is a factor here. Okay? But I only play it, I control factor on the one. You don't go and find 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, then the end exam over, it doesn't get a factor. You understand? Right? You just look. You understand? So, all of you look, huh? Okay, we do mentally first. 16, right? Plus what? 12. Minus 22, minus 6. 28, right? 28. So this one is 0 now. So, oh yeah! You know what I'm saying? Yeah! Therefore, x minus 2 is a vector. Oh yeah! You are so smart. Straight away, you can get it. Understand? Okay. Then I want to ask. After I try x minus 2, what can I try? x minus 3. x what? You can say x plus 3, right? Can you see it? What about this? 2x plus 1, plus one right? Huh? How do you use Hold on, hold on. You cannot say x plus half, I'm not used to it very well. Because the factor cannot be half. When you specialize across the whole pressure, you don't have to You understand what I'm talking about here? Because what I want to say is, you can't think of it. Because what I want to say is, because sometimes these two are in pressure, that means muscles or that thing. Formula. The only linear one is this guy. So you must know how to write like that. Everybody clear? I'm talking about that. Yeah, nah. yeah, nah. Okay. So can you see what I'm talking about? If there are three all pairs, that means you choose the one that is easiest. Understand? Okay? Now if you want a hard line, you want to choose this one, also can I have no objection. Then just come down with your hard line, okay? Alright, now so what if this is a vector then how? Then you must proceed with something called long division. Very good. So I will do this. Then this one is what? X minus 2, right? You must know the remainder must be 0 because already factor. Understand? Okay, so I divide 2x squared, 2x cubed minus 4x squared. What is this? 7x squared minus 11x plus 7x. 7x squared minus 14x. What's this? 3x minus 6, right? Plus 3. 3x minus 6. So, 0. Correct. Now, I want you to look at me. What is this word here? Specialized. So, it will be x minus 2, 2x squared plus 7x plus 3, right? 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 11x minus 6 will be this one. Equals 2. Now, first, you know it's 2x, x, right? 1 and 3, correct? Right? 6 and 1 give me 7, correct? So I would have uh, 2x plus 1, x plus 3. Just now when we play cheap, right? The answer is 2, correct? Right? Then negative half, correct? Right? Then negative 3, correct? Right? Uh, I will check again. But don't, right there, don't let people know which page is upset. Also, we must clean all this away. They say, oh, yeah. I have checked my Do you understand? Now, what if the question says this? Hello? What if the question says solve? Same procedure? Until here, you must do what? Equal to zero, then you have x equals to two or negative half or negative three. Understand? So one more step. Must differentiate between factorize and solve. Because when I ask people to solve, they just factorize. When I ask people to factorize, they just solve. I don't understand why. You understand? Huh? Can or cannot? Can, huh? Okay. Then I want to ask. Huh? Try again, huh? What if you use your calculator, right? The answer is this. Which one will you try? X minus 3, right? What if you want to try this all to be? X plus 4. What if it is? 3x plus 1. Okay? What if it is? 3x minus 1. Is that clear to everyone? Yes or no? Okay, good. So, if you look at the textbook, right? Example 15. They like to use comparing coefficients, which I do not like. Because I think non-division is straightforward. Why? 
选了一个老师，好帅，不是说你 compare compare 就 compare 了，你你懂我意思？ Everybody feel, but is it wrong to do comparison? No, it's not right. It's quite up to you. Okay. So are we clear now? Are we clear now? Okay. Next example sixteen. All of example sixteen. Now. Like that. Then you only have one real root, you know. 
This one are what? Not real roots. Imaginary. That means this one, this criminal will be what? Less than zero. Because don't have. Understand? So I'm going to show you their different types. Everybody clear? There are different types. Don't worry, I'll teach you one by one. Get it? Okay? Alright, next question. Next question. Are we okay so far? Are we okay so far? Yes, huh? Okay, next one. Next one, huh? Okay. I've already done example 16. Now I'm going to go example 17. Are we okay? I'm talking to the real one. Are we okay? Okay, example 17. Solve the equation, leave your answer in cert form where necessary. Now, when they say leave the answer in cert form, it's also the same as give the answer in exact form. That means you don't want any three centimeter figure or whatever. Everybody clear? Now, before we can solve this, let's expand first. Alright? Right. Now I don't like this. I also don't like this. What do I do? Multiply by negative one. So right? Okay. Now, 3, 2, uh, where's the x? 0 x, right? Then 4. Uh. Okay, now let's see for me now what's the answer. Minus B 
Please go ahead and wait for A, C, for a while. Okay, what's B? Negative one, right? What's four A? Two, negative two, right? Are they right? That's it, right? Okay? Now, next. They say leave it in the exact form, or third form. So this is what we have. X equals to two, or X equals to one plus minus square root of what is this? 1 plus 16. So, this is 17 over 4. Right? Can you see it now? Okay, now actually, uh, once you leave it like that, I'll explain what you need. Because this is just 1 plus root 17 over 4 and 1 minus root 17 over 4. Can you see what I'm talking about here? There are two roots here. Just that it will give you that amount. Everybody clear? But the question says this is a form, so this is a form. Everybody okay? Everybody clear so far? Okay, good. Last question. Last example. That I want to show. Can I? No problem, huh? Okay, last example. Uh, 
Uh, this will be 1, right? So this will be a 6 plus minus square root. 36 minus what? 42. What is 36 minus 42? Negative 1. Ah, negative 6 for work 2, right? Some people will do until here say that this one has got no real root. You understand? I will still accept it. 4 first. Right? Understand? 36 minus 42, negative 6. I will still accept it. Now, a more so called conceptual way of doing it is you do like that, right? Okay. You say for this one, right? B square minus 4AC. This criminal will be B square minus 4AC. That means minus 6 square minus 4 1 plus Can you see this criminal is negative 6? Less than 0. So, is there a solution here? No. So it's up to you. Then you will say, therefore this one has got no real roots. The only real root is this one. Have you got it here? This one. Minus 16. Right? 36 is what? 